Good morning, gentlemen. Today, I, Ambar Priyaraj, would be talking about tourism in India. Now, the world has recently witnessed an epidemic, which is which was the coronavirus pandemic, and we have been recovering greatly from the from this ep epidemic, and also vaccines have been rolled out. But uh, you know, one of the most uh, worst hit industry was the tourism industry. And uh, at the global level, if I say, then also it is the tourism industry. And if I talk about tourism in India, then it was one of the worst struck industry ever. Now, let us look at how tourism is most significant for a nation and for its economic growth and sustainable development goals. So we see that uh, in any of the nation, not only in India, tourism contributes uh, in uh, by leaps and bounds in the gross domestic product that is GDP of the nation. So it has been the case with India as well. Let us look at some of the tourism uh, goals which India have achieved till now. So India being a lower middle income class country witnessed that back in the year 2015 it jumped 6 spots up and gained the rank of 34 in the world travel and tourism competitiveness index which is a great uh, feat for a nation like India, who is a, which is a lower middle income nation. Now let us look at the policies uh, that concerns the tourism industry in India. So starting from the tourism policies, so government of India introduced the first tourism policy in the year 1982. It was to meant uh, that it should promote cultural and historical significance of India at the global level. And it was also to present India as a nation which has a glorious past, a vibrant present and a bright future. And also it introduced six laws under it which was concerned with Suvidha that is facilitation, Suraksha that is safety, Sangrachna, Sangrachna that is infrastructure development and another one is uh, Safai that is cleanliness which was introduced later on in the year 2002. And then uh, it also introduced various other aspects. Now let us look at what are some of the uh, major uh, industries that are concerned with the tourism industry in India. So these are ecotourism, uh, travel and management tourism, biotourism, medical tourism and uh, rural tourism amongst others. The government of India also took several steps to, to enhance the capabilities of the tourism industry in India such as the Prashad scheme. Prashad stands for Pilgrimage, Rejuvenation and Spiritual Heritage Augmentation Drive which also introduced several uh, Buddhist circuits and religious circuits across India. Uh, to name a few, we have the Kushinagar circuit, we have the Buddhist circuit which concerns the area of Varanasi amongst others. One of the key aspects of tourism in India is its IRCTC which stands for Indian Railway Catering Tourism and Cooperation. It provides all the luxurious uh, trains and all those uh, uh, tourism trains which are there prevalent in India. Like it also provides uh, tourism uh, within and with the facilities that is given inside these trains by the IRCTC. And uh, recently government of India has laid emphasis on Vista Dome coaches which are trans transparent windows that provides a more clear view of the scenery when travelling from inside the trains. Now let us look at what are some of the challenges concerning this industry that is the tourism and travel industry. So in, uh, in order to India become a tourism hub, it, uh, the, uh, India also faces several challenges in the path like number one challenge is the visa facility. So tourists find that uh, acquiring visa facility in India is a cumbersome task as they have to go from one place to another in order to acquire the concerned visa. Number second reason is or the number second challenge is the suraksha that is safety and in safety I meant to say women's safety. Women's safety is one of the one is one of the major concerns and has been over a long time. Uh, moving on we can also say infrastructure and development is one of the major challenges. Apart from that, there has been other challenges like uh, communications and uh, accept, uh, accessibility amongst others. So 
In conclusion, I would like to say that India, in order to become a major tourism hub, has to uh, accomplish and all this sustainable and tourism goals. So that in order to achieve these this great feat, they should have to uh, follow all the guidelines and the uh, standard operating procedures and overcome all these challenges. Then India will surely become incredible India. That is Atulya Bharat. Thank you.